Okay, so this time around, I'm looking at the all new 2020 Amazon Fire HD8, not the HD8 Plus, which by the way, I've already reviewed. You may have watched that video already. This is just the regular HD8, which has less features. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Yeah, as I'm getting ready to unbox this, I'm pretty sure, I'm 100% sure that my first impressions are gonna be extremely close to those of the HD8 Plus that I've already unboxed, at least in terms of looks, because they look pretty much the same, it's just that the HD8 Plus has a few more features. Let's fly through the unboxing as always. We find the unit inside here. We're gonna set it to the side for now. We have a USB Type-C with this tablet, just like the other one and a power brick here, but this is the first difference here. This one is much smaller and obviously less powerful as it is only a five watt power brick. Looking at the actual tablet here, I see absolutely zero difference between this and the HD8+. Plus. I guess this is one of those situations that's pretty close to what Apple used to do with the iPhones, the previous model iPhones. A little bit like they used to do back in the days when they had the iPhone 4 and then the iPhone 4S or the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S where both phones look alike, meaning the regular and the S version would look alike except they'll be different internally. So this is kind of what's happening with this tablet. It is essentially built just like the HD8 Plus but also like the other tablets. So the same plastic look and feel, although it's actually a pretty solid feel, but it's a new design compared to the previous generation. By the way, please do me a huge favor and hit both the like and the subscribe button there. I truly appreciate your support to the channel here. So if you want to pick up a copy of this thing, it will run you about 90 bucks as opposed to the plus version, which will run you about $110. But as I mentioned, that one has a few more things that come with it. So this is an improved design according to Amazon. So this is what they talked about. You can see that the previous model here looks slightly different compared to this one. Actually, it looks pretty different compared to this one. And one of the things that you will notice in terms of design is that the camera or the front facing camera is now located on the left hand side here. So it kind of signals to you that you should be holding the tablet in a landscape position. Looking closely at the tablet, we have some physical features here. Starting on the side here, we have the micro SD card slot for external storage. It allows you to expand that storage for up to one terabyte. Then at the top here, we have a headphone jack, the USB type C, the mic, the power button, and of course the volume rocker. Then on the other side, we also have a two speakers setup. On the back here is the camera, which is a two megapixel camera, just like the other ones. Same camera for the front facing side of the tablet. The display here is a 1280 by 800 for the resolution with 189 PPI. So I guess a fairly decent screen in this price range, of course. So you can navigate the internet, check your emails, play games, watch movies or YouTube videos, and you can do all of that with no issues really. We are looking at two gigs of RAM as opposed to the Plus, which has three gigs. And what I have here is the 32 gigs version. And just like the Plus also, there is a 64 gigabytes version of this one available. The tablet is loaded with Amazon Fire OS, no Google Play Store as always, but pretty sure it can be side loaded. Usage of the tablet feels the same as the other Amazon I've reviewed on this channel. I guess things load okay. It seems to handle media streaming services pretty well. Obviously your Netflix, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime and all that good stuff, they load pretty well and perform pretty well. So that's pretty much it for my unboxing of the all new 2020 Amazon Fire HD 8. I will be putting this tablet against the HD8 Plus to see how they perform and to see which one is actually worth picking up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to catch you in the comment section and I'm also going to catch you in the next video. Peace.